Ladies and gentlemen, it all comes down to this, the final of our heavyweight tournament. Let's get our two finalists to the glory ring. First, he walked through his semifinal matchup with a TKO win two minutes into the fight. Welcome back, Daniel Gita. Anticipated a Gita Saki final. Verhoeven ruined that scenario, but Gita held up his end of the bargain, stopping Anderson Braddock Silva in short order. His opponent came to Chicago with the intent to shock the kickboxing world and drop the world's number two into a standing eight count in the first round of his semi. This is Rico Verhoeven. So here at Glory 11 Chicago, we are set for the tournament final. Daniel Kita's already in the ring and he awaits the Prince of Kickboxing, Enrico Verhoeven, who again scored the upset, defeating the tournament favorite, Gokan Saki, in the first semifinal tonight. As we go to the tail of the tape, brought to you by the makers of Five Hour Energy. Verhoeven, eight years younger. Gita, slight advantage when it comes to the reach. And Verhoeven, the bigger of the two combats. And his size proved to be a difference. But then again, Saki, known as one of the smaller heavyweights. Gita, a big heavyweight. We're ready for this big showdown. Ladies and gentlemen, four men started the evening with a dream of being crowned Glory World Heavyweight Tournament Champion. And with it, $250,000. Two men are left standing for this heavyweight tournament final. Your referee at the opening bell tonight will be Al Wickers. This bout sanctioned by the Illinois State Athletic Commission. And now, for those of you with us live at Sears Center and kickboxing fans watching in 170 countries around the world, it's time for... Introducing first, standing up on right and fighting out of the black corner. He now runs his record to 49 wins with nine losses and adds a knockout 38 total on his career. Standing six feet four inches tall, 1.94 meters, weighing in at 248 pounds, 112 and one half kilograms. Fighting out of Romania, ladies and gentlemen, here again is Daniel the Savage Samurai. His opponent fighting out of the white corner. Runs his record to 41 wins with nine losses. Standing six feet five inches, 1.96 meters. He weighed in at fight time at 257 and one half pounds. 116.7 kilos. He fights tonight out of the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, Rico Verhoeven. 
Once again, your referee is Al Wickers. Rico. All right, fellas, this is for the Glory Heavyweight Championship. You want to have a good, clean fight, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times, fight clean, fight hard. Any questions, fighters? Yeah. Hook them up, let's rock and roll, guys. Let's so what began as a four-man tournament has come down to this. The Gita Groupies out in full force in Chicago to support their favorite Romanian son. The Savage Samurai expected to be in the final, but he will face the upstart, Rico Verhoeven, who upset the tournament favorite, Gokat Saki, in the opening semifinal of the Bell. And round one, the winner to receive the tournament title and $250,000 cash. Mauro Ranallo, Duke Rufus, and Ron Kruk, ringside. Hope you're enjoying Glory 11 Chicago, wherever you may be watching. As Bear Hoopin comes out, stalking Gita, but it's Gita that delivers the first signature blow, that liver kick. It's nice right hand. What agility he has to pick his legs up that easy and accuracy. You know, a lot of big guys are good with the low kick, but he picks the body kicks up beautifully. His savage low kicks has plenty of power, especially in that left hook. And there he goes for the knee, but stumbles and falls. And of course, referee Al Wickers waves off any thought of a knockdown. Counter right hand by Gita. And the crowd really behind the former bodyguard of the Romanian prisoner. Now it's electric here. Man. A lot of Romanian flags flying in the crowd. It's an awesome atmosphere for our first glory here in Chicago. I love it. Just over a minute gone in the opening round, just below the belt, they touch gloves to show sign of sportsmanship there as Bear Hoopin now backing up. Heat up, cornering him, measuring him up. Bear Hoopin again Step coming in little close, little delivers little a right hand to the body as they clinch, and referee Al Wickers will break them up. He just got a beautiful common right. He actually lets you strike at him, sets a trap so he can hit back at his own right. Nice jab by Gita through the guard. Verhoeven hits a right hand, right uppercut by Gita. Just misses with that left hand kick. Outside low kick by Verhoeven. Verhoeven's got to be careful about closing his guard tight because Gita's going to try and flip a punch around it. Gita looking very comfortable, very confident. Body kick by Verhoeven, push kick countered by Gita. And that was just below the belt, so they touched gloves. Good sportsmanship. Two of the very best in the sport showcasing their skills here. And this feature attraction, the final of the Glory four-man heavyweight tournament. He is looking the most fluid I've seen him in, in, in these last few fights. Definitely made a change to his game. That counter right is beautiful. And let's not forget, Gita stopped Anderson Silva early in the round, the opening round of their semifinal bout, while Verhoeven went three rounds with Saki. He keeps going for those hooks around the guard, real smart. Final 30 seconds of the opening frame. Jab by Gita through the guard. Punch kick combo by Verhoeven, lands the right hand. The time between Verhoeven's jab and cross is too, too long. That's why Gita's able to counter him. Verhoeven's got to speed up the rotation on his shoulders. Right hand behind the guard by Verhoeven, and then he goes to the body. Great start to this tournament final between Gita and Verhoeven. Round two, straight ahead. Verhoeven isn't intimidated by the greatness of Gita. Gita looks real fresh. Obviously, he only went one round in the, the first semifinal, so he's got a huge advantage. And he keeps a really good pace. He has very good technique, which helps him conserve his energy. Slight edge for Gita when it comes to arm strikes in that opening round. And when you look at the numbers, they tell a, a point, a partial point of the story. But how did you see the opening round? Uh, I give the first round to Gita. Verhoeven's tough, though, and he's hanging in there. He's very gritty, and he's got a chance here as well. I think Verhoeven needs to attack more. He's letting Gita get comfortable. He's got to put Gita on the defensive and, and use his youth to press him. The bell goes, and we are underway with round two. 
scheduled for three three-minute rounds to determine the Glory Heavyweight Tournament Champion. Push kick by Verhoeven, who's in the white gloves, Gita in the black gloves. Inside the low kick by Verhoeven, counter body kick by Gita, shelling up. Verhoeven goes to the body with a left hook. There's a nice straight right hand through the guard by Verhoeven. Verhoeven gets stronger as the fight comes on. He gets in there and, and he gets going. He gets better. Nice uppercut. And Left uppercut, right hand by Verhoeven, but Gita comes back with a combination of his own. He's got to be careful not to try and kick the back leg in between with his right leg because he may get caught with the right hand over there. Second round. Body punch by Verhoeven. They are going toe to toe here in Chicago. This is an impressive pace for heavyweights. I can't believe the pace of the. This is why I don't fight anymore. Right up a good left hook combo by Verhoeven. And it seems like Verhoeven is picking up momentum while Gita may be slowing down ever so slightly. Yeah, I see that. Gita's got a lot of his chin is popping up, and it's there to be hit. Right hand behind the guard by Verhoeven. Now in the clinch. Taking a moment to touch his body up. There's a left hand kick by Gita that connects. Another left hand kick taking a page out of Mirko Prokop's playbook. His head just got popped back like a pest dispenser with that right uppercut. Yeah, that was a great move. The, the uppercut smart right there while his guard side come under. Jab by Gita, counter right hand by Verhoeven, who continues to move forward, going into the final 60 seconds of the second round. A much better round for Verhoeven. But Gita stands in the pocket. When Verhoeven makes it a fight, makes it a brawl in a phone booth, he does very well. And the crowd trying to rally Gita with chance of his surname. Gita, hot shot in there. Right hand, inside low kick by Verhoeven connects the head kick blocked by Verhoeven. What a pace here in round two. Sure. Now Gita, he's smart. He's trying to go under that guard with his uppercut. And Gita eating those punches from Verhoeven. Final 20 seconds of the round. Gita needs to cut that chin. And keep a structured guard and stance as well. He's a little off balance right now. Gita's recorded 38 knockout wins compared to Verhoeven's 10. And we are headed to the third and final round of what has been a tremendous tilt thus far. That's a hard round to score. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky I'm not a judge because it was close. They both had their moments. Gita's doing a great job of hitting the body. It neutralizes Verhoeven's punches when he puts those deep middle kicks in there. And as well, again, he, and he'll, he'll kick a high middle kick, which forces his hands to come up, and it's harder for him to counter, but Verhoeven is durable, man. He came back with that uppercut, and that deep uppercut landed that deep low kick. Well, the numbers in that second round when it comes to total strikes landed don't exactly correlate with what I guess we saw, but Gita with a slight advantage over Verhoeven, according to our strike stats, 54-51, a very competitive affair. Okay, Heading into third the third round, round one round with $250,000 up for grabs, the tournament belt, and all of the glory that comes with the victory. Duke, how do you have it going into the final round? Right now, if I looked at the stats, I'd have it 2-0 uh, Gita, but I, I could You don't have to look at the stats, though. Yeah. The stats don't always tell the story, right? No, but it, I could see it 1-1, one, one, too. I'm, I, like I said, I'm glad I'm not a judge. Yeah. I'm just sitting here enjoying this fight. I'm as excited as everyone else to be here. This is one of the best fights I've ever seen live. You know, if phone booths still existed, I'd say they're fighting in a proverbial phone booth, but right now they are at close quarters, and again, the crowd trying to rally Gita, who's along the ropes, Verhoeven coming forward, attacking the body with the right hand. Gita, punching upstairs. Very close indeed, Gita, with 94 total strikes. A slight edge over Verhoeven. And referee Al Wickers giving Verhoeven an opportunity here. 
After uh, another shot just uh, below the belt line. Good job of making this a fight. That's what he needs to do. Take Daniel Gita out of his methodical style. Good. A right uppercut on the inside by Bear Hoven. And now with the tie clinch, just pushing Gita back to the ropes. A minute 45 seconds left. Again, a quarter of a million dollars to the victor. And the spoils of taking the tournament belt. Who wants it more? These two are leaving it all in the glory ring. Judge Smith, score them out 29-28, a unanimous decision for your winner. And now, Glory Heavyweight Tournament World Champion, Rico Verhoeven! The 24-year-old Prince of Kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven, has done it! The most memorable night of his career! He is the Glory Heavyweight Tournament Champion! We hope you've enjoyed 
Detroit Glory 11 Chicago for two proof and Juan Crock and our entire crew. I'm Laura Ranello. Thank you for watching. Glory 11 Chicago. There's nothing bigger in the kickboxing world than being crowned a glory tournament champion. Rico Verhoeven, you have done it. What emotions are stirring in you right now, pulling off these two huge upsets? Oh my God. <laughs> no, I'm feeling great, man. You know, this is, uh, uh, I tell you the, the story in short. I started my kickboxing career from six years old. My father always trained me. Now since six years, I've been training with Dennis. And the dream, you know, when, I'm, when I was younger, I saw Peter Art, and you know, I was like, that's what I want. You know, I want to be a champion like him. I want to be an example for children and everything, who are also now six, seven, eight years and things like, I want to be like Rico. Incredible performance. You knock off the number two ranks light heavyweight and the number three ranked light heavyweight. You went six rounds. Talk about that emotionally and physically. How draining is it to fight two times in one night? No problem. <laughs> you ready to go another round? Definitely, definitely. I learned everything from hard work from this man. If you don't know this man, go tonight. YouTube, check out Via Lima. This man works. He works and that's, he, he brought it over to me. You know, he said, keep on working, working, working. Second round, third round, third minute, doesn't matter. Keep on working and you will get there. And now I'm here. Rico Verhoeven, enjoy this. You've got the belt from VP of Talent Relations, Core Hammers, and we got a little, a little something over here from the chairman of the board of Glory, Pierre Andorans. Yes. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, Rico. How much? How much is it? Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. What are you going to spend it on? <laughs> oh my God. Of course, I want to thank some people very quick. I want to thank my sponsors, my best friend, Danny, uh, my, my uh, power coach, John, uh, my girlfriend for supporting me always, making my food, everything, keeping up with my, my crazy attitude when I have to fight. And of course, I want to thank all you guys for being here tonight. I want to thank all the millions and millions of people watching Glory is here, and we're here to stay. Pierre, thank you. Us. Chicago, give it up for your winner, Rico Verhoeven.